Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. The name of my channel is Unique by Sharita and I'm Sharita. So in today's video, I will be sharing with you how I decorate my living room and I'll also be sharing with you my dining room as well as my entryway. And I also got plenty of purchases. I wanna share with you all where I purchased them from. And one of the main things I purchased was this rug. So stay tuned. All right, I absolutely love my rug, but we'll come back to that. I purchased this sea table from Home Goods. It was $50. I'm not only using it to put a beverage on or to decorate, I'm actually using it to stop me from sitting in a certain area on the sofa. So I do tend to sit in the center of the sofa a lot, so I'm just going to put it in the center for now and I'll adjust it according to how often I sit in a certain area. Just these lampshades from a furniture store in Memphis. They were in the clearance department. They're 18 inches tall by 15 inches wide. I feel like they would be the perfect accent to these lamps I already had. Just unique and a little bit of drama. And these stems, I'm just adding them to the vase under the, under the coffee table. This tray, I got it from Tuesday morning. I think it was like $15. And of course, I had already spray painted those beads a gold color. Here's Old Faithful, my decorative box. I use it to house my remote control and lighter and other pieces I need to light my candles. You'll see it other places throughout this room, but it serves the same purpose. Beautiful bronze or browns color bird. I purchased it for the color, but to my surprise, it has potpourri in it. So this bronze ball and grayish black leaf tray, I purchased that from Hobby Lobby. It was like $4.99 on clearance and the ball was half price, so it was $4. And hey y'all, you know I like my little coaster, so I'm just gonna add that to the sea table as well. This orchid I got from Home Goods, it was $10. They did have some that were a little bit more in price, but I decided to just get the $10 one and put it in a vase that I already had. Gold pillows, they can go almost anywhere in the house. I love them. I got them from Home Goods and they were $35 some time ago. So um, these are some pillows that I will probably um, bring out more often than usual. And the throw I've had for quite some time. Just an FYI, your throw can be used to sit on if you don't want to sit on your um, sofa so much and take a chance on it getting soiled. Just grab your throw and sit on it and that can help eliminate a lot of the oils and dirt that accumulate on your sofa. So this throw pillow, I'm just going to fold it because I don't want the wide look. I actually ordered a round pillow and it has not arrived yet. So I'm just going to use it. These black and gold or bronze looking pillows I've had for some time, I just pulled them out of my pillow closet. I'm using them for the bronze side. And just remember, I've said this before, anytime you have a double-sided pillow, you choose what side you want to incorporate into your decor. Or even if I had these on the same sofa, I wanted to use one facing the front with the gold or bronze and the other one with the black and bronze. So. Just move my chair back in place. And of course, I shared this pillow in a haul. I got it from Home Goods. And this pillow, I got the pillow cover from the Heart Decor online. I will share that information in the description. I purchased two of those. I already had this tray. I'm just gonna add that to the coffee table. And these two vases, I pulled them from the uh, bookshelf. Of course, you know, I like to shop my home, save a few dollars and get a different look right in your own space. I'm just going to add a couple of candles. That W candle, it smells so good. I got it from um, Michael's. 
and it was like half price five dollars and then it went on sale so i bought a couple more just gonna light these candles and set the mood and get some fragrance going as i finish up the look are some artificial eucalyptus stems i've had them for quite some time i just pulled them from a vase in the house and i'm turning them inward because i do not want anyone to walk by and hit them and knock everything down so make sure you um, think about that when you place items on your coffee table and here i'm just adding a few more things to the side table that i've already had these little lights I purchased some time ago, but they do come with the remote or you can use the push button. I have them in my kitchen under my cabinet and I'm just going to place them in the bookshelf. I'll put the link to them in the description if you're interested in them. Okay, so let's turn some lamps on and here is the finished look. purchased these pillows from Tuesday morning. I'm just cutting the tags off of them. They are a new purchase. And I'm also going to replace the greenery on the table with an orchid. I just simply took the orchid and put it in a vase that I already had. I'll show you a picture of that. Orchid was artificial, but these two plants you see on the floor are actually real. One is a peace lily and the other is a palm tree. And then I brought those tree limbs I had in the other room and brought them in here and put them in this vase that I purchased from Home Goods. It is a new purchase. It was $39.99. And of course, these pieces on the floor I already had. These two vases over to the left. I spray painted them chestnut on the bottom and gold, a really bright gold on top. And then I changed it to a really bright silver on the top. And now this is like a really, I would say more of a bronzy gold looking color. I just did that look with using a bright gold and lightly sprayed over it with um, some black spray paint. Now these are some small vases, one gold, silver, and bronze that I've used throughout the home. I just decided to put them in the leaf tray to give it a different look instead of using those decorative balls. I felt that this would be just, you know, something unique, something different. This beautiful cracked black torso, I got it from marshalls.com, it was $60. It looks somewhat of a restoration hardware dupe. I don't know if it's going to stay there, but for now, that's the home for it. And moving right along to this beautiful plant, I did get it back in November. It's a peace lily. And then on the floor, you see I have a Project 62 gold metal basket. I got that from Target. It was like $25, I believe. And of course, I've already had like the throws and everything that's already in it. I think I pretty much went over everything in this room that I haven't shared before. I'll also show you um, uh, option one, option two, and option three, which will include a darker color pillow, a lighter color pillow, and a lighter color throw. Hey y'all, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up.
Y'all, I finally found the perfect rug. I'll put the link to it in the description if there's anyone that's interested. I didn't have any luck with purchasing the inexpensive rugs from Amazon. This one has all the colors that I need, the taupe, the gold, the beige or tan, and uh, it's just perfect. So it's perfect for my space and it has that look that I need. I'm just videoing myself taking this rug up. I didn't feel myself putting the new rug down. this is the end of the video i just want to update you all on a few things that we're working on i ordered the bedroom set or the bed for my daughter's room that'll be here next week i have to work but my husband will be here to receive it i also will be doing a new look in my hearth room for my birthday my birthday's in february so my decor will be based around that. I did drop my drapes off to the seamstress, so they'll be ready. She said in a few days or so, so that should be coming up real soon. And I also am still working in my bedroom as well as a new look for the guest room and the guest bath. And yes, we have the laundry room as well as the kitchen. I cannot get anybody over here to do my backsplash. I don't know what's going on, but I'm ready. So um, with that, all of that being said, thank you all for being there. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for being patient. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Feel free to like, comment, share. And if you want to see more videos from me, please consider subscribing, turn your notification on so you'll be the first to know when I post videos. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day.